Hi, my name is Josip Palmasi. I made a VR server. Let me show you. I downloaded a few free rigged characters from Sketchfab as GLTF models and implemented motion tracking and inverse kinematics. That is, I made them follow movements of my hands and arms. Like this. Then I downloaded more and more. I stopped at 50, not because there is no more, but because 50 is enough. Some of them are animated, some are not, but either way, they can all follow my movements. They can also crouch or jump. But it turned out my son could not use them. He's too small and his arms are just too short. So I implemented a resize feature like this. Then I needed some spaces to walk around my avatars. Again, there's plenty of free ones at Sketchfab and elsewhere. I like big open spaces and I found quite a few of these. Each of them has some special features that I need. Persian City is my favorite. Aladdin is small and shows some dynamic terrain features. Kidville is my kids' favorite. They play hide and seek there. Paris is huge. That's the feature. Allows me to test how huge stuff works. Spaceport is in space and you can teleport around like Spider-Man. Cave is an actual game level. My daughter wants to make a game and this is supposed to be first level. All this works on PC, mobile and VR devices. But navigation is totally different. On PC, we use mouse and cursor keys. On VR devices, we teleport around. On mobiles, we use touch screen. But I have to admit it's not easy. But gamepad makes it useful. Now, there's no web without servers. Something needs to serve all this content and that's about 1 gigabyte of content. But also server needs to deliver all user events like movement, chat, to other users. Luckily I'm the server man. I've been doing servers for decades now. In fact I made a VR server 20 years ago, but that was way too early. So I wrote a VR server again and published it on the GitHub. I also made a live demo of current version available on www.vrspace.org. Chat is a must-have feature in a multi-user whatever. I opted for voice chat. That seems to be quite popular nowadays. There's an open source streaming server called OpenVidu and I made my server talk to that server so people can talk to each other. And it's spatial so you need to be close to one another to talk. Testing, 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 bye, 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 testing, testing, While at it, I also made a few tools that I needed for development, like Floor Editor. We need floors either to walk on or to teleport to. So it's simple. Walk around, record your path, and edit, and then save. And Event Recorder. I needed that to see how people see each other. So I recorded myself moving around and played it back in a loop. 
server then records everything that I do, every single event that my browser emits gets recorded on the server. That includes my avatar, my movement, and so on. And then it plays event back to all users, not just me. Can you see the difference here? That's the difference between 5 and 50 frames per second. Network traffic is rate limited to 5 frames per second and the gaps are filled on client side. New animation is created for movements in between. Alright, let's have a look at live session, how it really looks like. This is a Oculus Quest user meeting a PC user. You can see that one is moving their arms and the other is not. Mobile users appear much the same as PC users. They can't move their arms, they just float. It's important to mention that all these mobile, PC and VR users hang in the same space. They can all chat in the same space. Think of it, you have Skype on your phone and on your PC, don't you? And you can see that our movements are not natural here. Also, the jump is too slow. So, obviously, rate limit of 5 frames per, per second is way too slow. But this is an important feature that I wanted to show in this video. Most of these characters are animated, but there is no user interface yet to trigger a specific animation. Let's have a brief look under the hood. Client side is plain JavaScript built with Babylon JS, the open source web game engine. Content is all GLTF. It's open specification supported by pretty much every 3D tool. Server side is Java, Spring Boot, and database of choice is Neo4j. Audio streaming is handled by OpenVidu. And on the demo server, there's also Apache, Linux, and so on. And this video is made with shortcut. It's all free and open. And that's about as much as one guy can do in his spare time in less than a year. I bought myself Oculus Quest for last Christmas and I've been learning and coding ever since. Can you imagine what could happen if there were two guys working on this or three? And that's what this is all about really. It's open call for whatever, whatever you want. Front-end, back-end developers want to play with it. Artists want to show off your models in VR. Parents want your kids to play hide-and-seek in VR with my kids. Bring them over. Anybody wants to contribute anything. I've also set up a Redmine server so we can collaborate. It's got bug reports, forums, wiki and everything. What? I've said everything that I meant to say. And there's still time. Well then, I'll just shut up and let you enjoy. That's all folks, have fun!